Wrestling. The main event at Victory Road is called very simply the match of champions. In this contest, the TNA World Heavyweight Champion and the X Division Champion will team up against the TNA World Tag Team Champion. When a wrestler scores a pinfall, not only does he win the match, but he wins the title of the man that he pins. If one of the World Tag Team Champions is pinned, then the man who pins you will win both the World Tag Team title belt and pick his own partner. For the next three weeks, all of the TNA titles will be defended. Samoa Joe has filled the first slot. He's the X Division champ tonight. We determine his partner, Kurt Angle, Rhino, or Christian Cage. Jim Cornette tells us that there are no glass ceilings in TNA, he means it. If you hold a title belt, prepare to be a fighting champion because management wants everybody in TNA to get their fair shot. Get ready, because tonight on Impact, it is the instant classic Christian Cage versus the War Machine Rhino versus the new world champion, Kurt Angle. On July 15th at Victory Road, there's one thing that we do know, Samoa Joe will be represented in the match of champions. And tonight, we will find out who his partner is. It's Mike Tanay and Don West at ringside, and tonight, right here on Impact, we will determine who joins Samoa Joe for the match of champions at Victory Road. Get this, Kurt Angle, Rhino, Christian Cage in a three-way. I mean, think about this. What a first title defense. Your two opponents are former world champions but only one of them can go all the way to Victory Road. Think of all the possibilities. Earlier today, we heard from all three men. Machines. Cold. Calculating. No remorse. No regrets. All things that are going to make me win back. My world title tonight. Models of evil. Instruments of destruction. But nothing so powerful as a well or finely tuned engine. Rather than wasting my time, interview me over and over again. Just play the loop of what I've been saying all along. Nobody's gonna take this away from me. Engineered to achieve a sole objective. The TNA World Heavyweight Title on the line in a three-way. Perfection. Perfection. Tonight is my night. Failure has not been programmed. I told everybody that I was going to win the TNA World Heavyweight Championship, and I did. And I promise you, nobody's going to take this away from me. A troubled and turbulent future awaits. For this is only the first step towards a higher purpose. The match of champions. We're going to find out your partner, Samoa Joe. To be the superior. To be the superior. To stand atop the industrial food chain. Nobody's going to take this away from me. I will never, never be the same man again! Never again! A true champion is measured by every time he steps in the ring, looking at his opponent dead in the eyes and beating him. One, two, three. Their fuel is their drive for perfection. Machines. Cold. Calculating. No remorse. No regrets. Models of efficiency. Instruments of destruction. Engineered to achieve a sole objective. Perfection. Perfection. Props to TNA and Jim Cornette for putting this World Heavyweight title match on first this week on Impact to give it both the spotlight and the time it deserves. When you look at the tail of the tape, look at the size, the power advantage of Rhino. While all three men have held the World Championship, Christian has more big match experience than Rhino, but Angle has that extensive amateur background. Last week on Impact, the War Machine Rhino went absolutely ballistic. The Tennessee Cowboy, James Storm, lit the fire that caused Rhino to destroy our broadcast table and completely trash the impact zone. He'll need that focus. He'll need that intensity tonight. The 
instant classic Christian Cage can talk all he wants about how he has dominated the TNA World Heavyweight Championship, and he will. But to be honest, the numbers don't lie, and they actually reinforce his claims. In the past 16 calendar months, Christian has held the gold for nine of those months in his two reigns as champion. You can question his morals, you can question his methods, but it's tough to question how effective and how impactful Christian Cage has been since arriving here in TNA back at Genesis in 2005. Mike, I have that visual at Slammiversary. It was the King of the Mountain match. Christian Cage so close to hanging that belt on the ladder. And then, out of nowhere, it was the spear from Chris Harris, almost directed directly at Christian Cage. And what it did was it took him out of winning that title for the third time. Well, tonight, he has a chance to win that championship again and join Samoa Joe against the Tag Team Champions at Victory Road. Samoa Joe might be able to coexist 
with his three potential tag team partners. Here we see the Samoan submission machine showing the respect to Rhino before this matchup. Somebody that he would be able to work with very well, I believe, at Victory Road. There you see Christian Cage, Mike, walking out of the ring, not even going to acknowledge Joe. And then here's where the tension always seems to lie. Samoa Joe face first with Kurt Angle. Samoa Joe trying to get on the same page with all three individuals in anticipation that he's going to have to coexist with one of these three at Victory Road. Did you see that slap? I mean, he just set him up there. He had it out calmly. Kurt Angle, I think, is concentrating on his match at hand, and he fell for it. And look at the Samoa submission machine making sure that Kurt Angle not going to be 100% for this match, that's for sure. I mean, the opening bell hasn't even sounded for this no disqualification, must be a winner, World's Heavyweight Championship match, and check out that headbutt from Samoa Joe. Here in the crowd of the Impact Zone, there goes Angle right into the wall. I mean, just look how brutal Samoa Joe's being. You can see it in his face. One shot in the wall now, going through the crowd, inflicting damage, and now look at this. Oh, right there against the wall again. Oh yeah, he cleared the path. He drove Angle right directly into the wood. Now he's got Angle by the head, taking him to the back of the impact zone. Oh man, Samoa Joe on a mission. Oh, yeah. one shot after another, head first into that wall. And right now, Christian Cage, Rhino, gotta be wondering what's going on as they watch Joe just tumble as you see people from the back coming out to stop Samoa Joe. Right, wrestlers from the locker room to try and separate these two. And there's TNA management's Jim Cornette, and he's sending Samoa Joe out of the building. We're gonna try and restore order when we return to Impact, the world's title match. And welcome back everyone to Impact. The TNA World's Heavyweight Championship is on the line. The new champion, the Olympic gold medalist Kurt Angle against the War Machine Rhino versus Christian Cage. A three-way match, no disqualification, there must be a winner. Mike, the first question that comes to mind is the condition of Kurt Angle. Samoa Joe did exactly what he intended. You know he doesn't want Kurt Angle to be his partner in Victory Road. Either that or it's just payback for Slammiversary. Maybe a combination of both. Check out this offensive burst in the opening minute from the War Machine Rhino. But from behind, Angle clocks him, and then the European uppercut rocks him. One shot after another as you see both of them going after Rhino. I really like what Jim Cornette did with the War Machine. He saw that passion last week. And you mentioned about there being no glass ceiling. And he is a former world champion. And we saw something come out of the War Machine last week. I think that we haven't seen in a long time that fire. And I think if he can channel that intensity, if he can focus that fire, he has an opportunity, Don, to leave the impact zone tonight with the world's heavyweight title. Do you notice the communication there between Christian Cage and Angle? Well, somebody's gonna have to work together, I believe, especially when you've got a three-way like this early on. It's gonna all break down every man for himself, but that's the experience of Angle and Christian, I think, knowing that the war machine is fired up, He's got nothing to lose. That's why they're attacking him first. Angle hits the suplex on Rhino, and you know this relationship between Christian Cage and Kurt Angle. I mean, it just has to be momentary. They're on the same page right now, but Don Long Term, I can't see it because there's only one man that's leaving Impact tonight with that World's Heavyweight Championship belt. But it is true, they are pacing themselves. And you know what, it's not a bad idea because of the emotion that is in that ring right now. They're letting each other kind of go after Rhino. And think about it, Rhino's going to deal with both these guys at the same time. That's going to wear him out. And Kurt Angle, especially after the way this thing started with Joe, needs to get his breath every chance he gets. But look at Rhino showing that fire. Another one of those offensive bursts out of the corner. But then the numbers game catch up to the war machine here. And Angle and Christian continue the beatdown. It's amazing how dangerous these guys are taking Rhino. They know what this guy can do. And I mentioned it earlier, he's got nothing to lose. This is like all of a sudden giving a gift, a chance at being the world champion tonight and being in the match of champions at Victory Road. Double team, Angle and Christian shoot Rhino off into the turnbuckles, swing and a miss with the clothesline, and then Rhino connects, clothesline for both Christian and the Olympic gold medalist. Here goes Christian for the ride, fired off into the ropes and high back body drop. Boy, that'll get the momentum turned around in a hurry. He just uses that strength, and he really is. He's, he's such a force. We saw that last week when he tore up our announce table. It was child's play. He really has a strength, I think, that people don't realize they see him in action. And 
Look at it right now. I mean, helpless is Christian Cage as he puts the full force of the weight on him. Running power slam leads to a near fall before Angle wisely comes in and breaks it up before three, and then he gets decked for his troubles by Rhino. Here comes belly to belly by Rhino on Christian. Boy, just one right after another, but they keep coming. But you mentioned how they broke up the pin. And how, how it was wise of Kurt Angle to do that. You've got to be aware of everything right now. You can't be caught on the outside looking in while somebody gets a quick roll up. You've got to be aware at all times what's going on in that ring. Backbreaker across the knee, follow cover. Barely a one count that time by Angle on Rhino. I'm gonna remind you next week right here on Impact, the third and final qualifying match, Team 3D to defend their tag team titles. Jim Cornette to leave this decision entirely up to the fans. The polls have been up all week at TNAWrestling.com. This is your last chance to vote. Text now which former tag team champs should get the shot next week. A, LAX, B, AJ Styles or Christopher Daniels, or C, The Naturals. Text A, B, or C right now to 76,000. Let your vote be heard. The top two teams will get the shot right here next week on Impact. We'll have the results later in this broadcast. You saw Kurt Angle right there trying to wear down the war machine. Everything he could, but look at that strength, that adrenaline as Rhino gets to his feet. And there was Kurt Angle helpless on the shoulders of Rhino, and he just sends him back right on his back. Smart strategy here by Christian Cage. You'll notice that he spent the past couple of minutes outside the six-sided ring. He's getting his strength, he's getting his power back, and at the same time, he's watching as Angle and Rhino beat the hell out of each other. Every chance you get, try to catch an extra breath. Oh, raking of the eyes right there by Kurt Angle, and hey, it's no disqualification. Sometimes you gotta take a shortcut, Mike, and in a situation with everything on the line, I mean, you may never get another shot at it again after tonight. The defending TNA World's Heavyweight Champion tried to suplex Rhino, but just like we showed you in the tail of the tape, there's that size advantage. There's the weight and power that's on Rhino's side as he quickly reverses and takes Angle overhead. Watch Christian Cage, though. He's gone from one side of the ring to the other, and there it is. He grabs oh. Rhino, then pulls him into the ring post. Now sliding back into the ring, and there it goes, oh! And he just let Kurt Angle's momentum take him into the ring post. Christian Cage played it perfectly, and here he goes for the pin. Reverse DDT leads to a near fall, a two count on Angle. As we anticipated, that relationship between Christian Cage and Kurt Angle was fleeting. They would use it to their own advantage, but when Christian saw the opening, you know he's gonna take advantage of this. Neck break, pin, here's one, here's two, shoulder up by Angle. Christian trying to steal one right there, but you, 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 you were so right. You have to use a partner sometimes if it's appropriate, but when you have a chance to make the go, you have no friends in that ring. Yet to come here tonight on Impact, Eric Young in action, plus an X Division showcase match. Mike, though, before we can get to any of that, there must be a winner tonight in this no disqualification world championship match. And wow, Rhino just crumpled right there. I wonder if he's got an injury if something happened. Christy Cage used his momentum forward, and you can see Rhino looks like the legs just crumpled underneath him, and Christy Cage can smell it. Off the inverted atomic drop. Christian with a drop kick right into the chest of Rhino. Two. He goes for the pin in another two count. Pure adrenaline right there on behalf of the war machine as he got the shoulder up. I'm gonna keep an eye again to see if there's some kind of an injury, but now you can see he's trying to get to his feet and Christian Cage can sense it. Look at him right here, pulling back on that arm, wrenching that back. Abdominal stretch applied in mid-ring by Christian Cage and Don, think of the long-term history between these two. It goes back over a decade. Oh, it does, and I, I'll never forget Bound for Glory last year, and you think about the condition that Christian Cage left Rhino in. But, oh, Christian Cage seems to just have Rhino's number. But, oh, that's where the force comes when looking lands on his feet. Rhino tried to toss him out to the arena floor. Christian landed on the apron, and he's going to go up top. That's no man's land. Not the usual place that we see Christian Cage. And it looks like there's not going to be much of a payoff. Rhino's ready for him. Going to try and superplex him back. And here comes Angle. Kurt Angle just waited and waited. We watched him outside the ring. And there he is. But he comes in, and he gets a shot in the face by Christian Cage, oh, look at this as Rhino puts it straight on it, could it be? Frog splash right before the three count. Christian on angle, two, no, angle powers out. 
Unbelievable, but how smart was that of Christian Cage? He had the high road, Mike, and he watched that whole thing take place. Commercial break upcoming when we return to Impact. More of Rhino, Christian Cage, and Kurt Angle for the world title. And we're back on Impact. Continuation of the TNA World's Heavyweight Championship matchup. The new title holder, Kurt Angle, the two challengers, the War Machine, Rhino, and Christian Cage. Plus, the winner will go on to Victory Road July the 15th to team with Samoa Joe in the match of champions against whoever the TNA World Tag Team Champions are at that time. And this will all be decided next week. Remember, TNA Mobile right now. Text A, B, or C to 76,000. A being LAX, B being Styles and Daniels, C being the Naturals. You decide who faces Team 3D to get in to Victory Road. And we will have the results of that poll later in tonight's Impact broadcast. One German suplex plus another, now at two. And you'll notice that Kurt Angle maintains his grip. He's got those fingers locked. He's gonna go for a third German, and he connects against Christian. Oh, you can just see Christian Cage's eyes rolling in the back of his head as Kurt Angle hit him with that third German suplex. I'll tell you something, though, Mike. It's amazing what we've seen transform. Oh, a fourth one! It just had a sickening thud. But what we've seen transgress during the impact zone, there is no doubt this crowd is 100% behind the War Machine Rhino. Oh, and those repeated shots with the suplexes. How about a fifth? And you're right, a sickening thud each time. Abel connects with that German suplex, and the back of Christian Cage's head makes contact with the canvas. I don't know if people realize how much that takes out of, out of even Kurt Angle, because you've got to lift him up and pull him back, but it's like it's just firing him up right now, and he goes comes. right for the ankle. Ankle lock applied, his patented submission move. Oh, and you can just see that Christian Cage is fighting through the pain. Going to try and reach out and make contact with that bottom strand of ropes to get the break. Well, you better make sure you know where Rhino is at all times. And right now, Kurt Angle's not looking behind him as Rhino is right there and he rolls him up. One, two, oh, he almost had a bam. I mean, this is always the situation when you have these three-way matches. We talk about needing eyes in the back of your head, never truer than in this world's title match. And all of a sudden, Rhino's back in the running. Have you noticed, Mike, that every wrestler's had their chance to kind of catch their breath either in the corner or outside the ring, and it's always worked to their advantage. Oh, he's got him in the ankle lock again, and now Rhino just went too far, and now he's in it. First, he had the ankle lock on Christian Cage. Now he applies it to the war machine. Rhino, here comes Christian, and now two for the both. price of one. He's got them both. He's got them both right here. Now it's going to be up to Christian Cage and Rhino. They're looking at each other, both of them, thinking about tapping. Who taps first? He's got it locked in. And that's the way that you reverse that double ankle lock as Christian and Rhino work in concert. Oh, and then both connect with the clothesline, and down goes Angle. Oh, they had to work together right there. Oh, mid-ring collision. Double clothesline at the same time, takes them both out. All three of them right now, wiped out the middle of the ring as the crowd chants their appreciation. Oh, you saw how long Christian Cage and the War Machine Rhino were able to coexist, were able to work together. Or was it about two seconds before they both tried to stab each other in the back with that clothesline? Well, if they'd have waited another couple seconds, one of them would have tapped out. It was just a matter of being the eye contact, I think, and the professionalism knowing it's now or never. Senior official Rudy Charles puts in the count. Looks like outside, Christian Cage is gonna be the first up to his feet. Now Rhino, the second angle's up as well. Here comes Christian from the top, and the war machine is ready for him. Rhino looked a little wobbly right there, but now he seems to have caught his balance. He's got Christian Cage up top where he was. Christian trying to fight him off, and again, here comes Angle, and he hits him with a German suplex. Angle there to take advantage of that situation. You're right, German suplex for Rhino. Charges up and takes Christian from the top down to the canvas. That's a champion for you. I don't know how he had the speed. One, two, he's got it, no! Christian Cage able to get the shoulder up just in time, but how about that speed of Angle climbing those ropes? and sending Christian to the middle of the ring. That burst, that rush of adrenaline by the Olympic gold medalist and the reigning world's heavyweight champion almost enabled him to win this three-way match and advance as, yes, believe it or not, he would have been Samoa Joe's partner at Victory Road. Now, Angle takes Christian, quick reversal. Oh, man, Christian just flung Angle. The two heads collided, Angle and Rhino, and there it is, he just caught him. I'm prettier. One, two, three. Oh, man, somehow! It was so close 
she hit the up prettier perfectly. But Kurt Angle able to sense in the last second where referee Rudy Charles count was, and he just got the shoulder off. Wow, how many matches through the years has Christian Cage won after hitting that unprettier? But amazingly, you're right, Don. Kurt Angle able to power out now. Christian Cage with the open hand slaps to the face of Angle. That's just gonna wake him up. Here's Rhino up on top. Oh man, the war machine! Flight clothesline as the catch is looking! Clever! One, two, Rhino! Oh, he didn't get it! The crowd sensed it! Just saw Angle bow up, and it looked like Rhino had it run. And again, Kurt Angle at the last second gets the shoulder up. Just as Rudy Charles motioned to Christian Cage moments earlier, Rhino, you were just this close to becoming TNA World Heavyweight Champion. Oh, look at this. Rhino turns him around. Now he's sitting on his back, pulling back. Will Kurt Angle submit? Perfect ring positioning. Dead center, middle of the ring with the Boston Crab. And is Angle going to tap? Oh, he's so close. Oh, you saw Christian coming up on the ring apron, and that's why Rhino let him go. I don't think Rhino realized how close Angle was to tapping. Oh, what a knee. Yeah, just as Rhino was going to hit the door, Angle caught him, and then connects with the Olympic Slam. Can he retain? One, One two, oh, the war machine. Everybody just oh. sensing the last exact moment, as you see. Christian Cage pulling a table. It's no disqualification. And here he is, and he's got both these guys down in the ring, Mike. And Don, think of what we've seen. We've seen the unprettier, we've seen the gore, we've seen the Olympic slam, and there still isn't a winner. No disqualification. Yes, there must be a winner in this world's title match. That just shows you how important the world championship is. It makes you able to do things. It gives you that extra adrenaline that you don't have in everyday life. It's just so important as the crowd cheering on the table that Christian Cage brings in and he just slams the face of Kurt Angle right on top and then tosses him aside. Now, attention turned to the war machine, Rhino. Rhino tries to fight back, connects with the right, and there goes Christian face first into the table. He went to the well one time too often and now Rhino setting that table up in the corner. We know how he likes to set someone up and hit him with that gore, but if he takes too long with these guys in the ring, it's gonna backfire on him. You're right, because this enables Christian Cage and Kurt Angle to both get their breath, and as Christian gets to his feet, Rhino comes in, and Christian takes the shortcut, raked his eyes, and then drives him right back down to the mat, using the hair. Now, look at him put the boots to Angle, and putting that one boot right across the windpipe, right across the throat of the world's champ. I mean, you gotta admire his timing is, wait a minute, here comes the monster abyss! Walking right down the ramp, and you can see Christian Cage sees him coming, and he's backing up, and he's trying to get out of the ring. I mean, since his return to TNA, Abyss has been totally focused on gaining revenge for that brutal beating at the hands of Christian Cage. The monster Abyss, he's in pursuit of Christian Cage. Let's keep the camera on these two as they fight outside the impact zone. We've got to have a winner in this world title match. between the Monster Abyss and Christian Cage. Rhino and Kurt Angle, they're still battling in the ring. There's no disqualification. TNA World's Heavyweight Championship match continues, and remember, there must be a winner. You can just feel the intensity of Abyss as he just slams Christian Cage right into the cooler as in the ring. You see the war machine, one shot after another, and it looks like he's got Kurt Angle reeling. Quick reversal, Angle shoots Rhino up, and look at that! Belly to belly, he took the war machine overhead. Pin two. Oh, oh, so close, but Rhino gets the shoulder up. As again, we're back outside with the Miss, who's in total control of Christian Cage. It's like one gets momentum, then the other turns it around. And right now, you gotta wonder if Christian Cage is gonna make it back in because Abyss is doing whatever he wants. He just took Christian Cage, threw him shoulder first, right into that steel trash dumpster. Big shots outside the impact zone. Meanwhile, in the ring, Kurt Angle neutralizing the War Machine Rhino. I mean, it looked like it was all Rhino, and you can see now Kurt Angle wearing him down as Abyss just uses one thing. What's he gonna do here? Oh, no! Oh, He's got him trapped! Oh, he just gets out of the way in time! You're right, Christian just avoiding that oncoming trash can. Monster Abyss has got him throttled. Gonna try and choke slam Christian Cage. And there they are! AJ Styles and Tomko just in time for Christian Cage 
Jason, you can see though Abyss just fights them both off. But will the numbers game be too much for Abyss? You're right, AJ Styles, Tom Cole. This is part of Christian Cage's backup plan, obviously. And now they continue this assault. Oh man, he's using that guardrail on Abyss. Anything that's not nailed down is back in the ring. Rhino gets to his feet. A solid right, but you can just see how wobbly these guys are. Think about how long they've been in that ring in this title matchup. Yeah, the 25 minute mark. Uncharted waters here in TNA. Longest impact match ever. Suplex, pin, angle, two count only on Rhino. Just able to get the shoulder up in time as you see Tonko raining blows. And Abyss, wait a minute. He's trying to you just heard Christian Gage tell him as he kicks him in the head. Then he tried to cause a potato shot. Christian Gage making his way back to the impact zone. Remember, there will be a winner tonight. And welcome back, everyone, to an incredible TNA World Heavyweight Championship match. As the defending champ, the Olympic gold medalist Kurt Angle continues his beat down on the War Machine Rhino. Well, it would behoove Christy Cage to get back into this ring fairly quickly because if there's a pin or a submission, this match will be over and you can tell that Kurt Angle is just getting stronger and stronger, Mike, as this goes. I mean, think of the beat down earlier with Samoa Joe. The longer this has went, it's gone to Kurt Angle's advantage. And Don, as we near the 30 minute mark of this world's title match, there's the belly to belly by the War Machine Rhino on Kurt Angle. Gonna measure him now, gonna set up in the corner. Could this be the gore through the table? Just when you think somebody's got it, what? Here it goes! Gore! Gore! Gore right through the table! He stacked him up right through the wood. We've got to take another look at this. Oh, he hits it straight on. Angle looks up, and it's too late because Rhino beats him right into the table. And look at Angle. Look at Angle. It's almost like he's out. Referee Rudy Charles going to look at him. And again, Christy Kate needs to get to that ring. And did you notice at the point of contact, Rhino, he went head first right into the table just when he connected with the gore. And here comes Christian Cage back into this three-way match for the world's heavyweight title. Great timing on the part of the instant classic. Cover. One, two, done. What? what happened? Chris Harris out of nowhere pulls him out of the ring. The Wildcat Chris Harris, the man who Christian Cage feels cost him the world's title match at Slammiversary in the King of the Mountain match. Wasn't gonna let this match end like that with Christian Cage picking the bones of Kurt Angle after that Rhino Gore. Well, you heard Christian Cage last week. He said he was gonna make a star out of Chris Harris if he wanted to face him. Well, Chris Harris is taking the fight right to Christian Cage, and it was just academic. So close, the timing of Chris Harris. Unreal as again, he cost Christian Cage the championship. But keep in mind, no disqualification in this three-way match. Must be a winner. Here comes Tonko, here comes AJ Styles, and they two-on-one beat down now on Wildcat Chris Harris. What Christian's coalition might be the MVP. Right here we go. Arm Who's great. got it? What? Where did he find that? Where did he come up with that intestinal fortitude? Meanwhile, it's still Tonko and Styles with the two-on-one on the Wildcat. Rhino was just this close, he draped the arm across Angle, but no, just the two-count, and look at AJ laying those rights. I still don't know where Kurt Angle found that. He was absolutely knocked out cold from that gore. It's just all the distractions that came in gave him just enough time. And look at them both in the ring. They're both still out as you see Christian's coalition just beating up on the Wildcat. And here comes the monster back in. You're right, the monster abyss back inside the impact zone. And he goes right to AJ Styles. Big clubbing blow to the back of AJ. And there goes AJ to the guardrail. Now the monster abyss and Tomko battle. All hell's broken loose here in the impact zone. Yeah, and here comes Christian Cage back into the battle. We've just received word that due to the length of this match, they've canceled the Eric Young bout, and also due to the importance of this world's title match, and look at Christian Cage, big shots right after right to the head of the wild Oh my Chris God, Harris. here comes Sting! What on earth is he doing here? This has just gotten even crazier. Why, Mike? Why is Sting getting involved? I mean, we never expected this, but it's pretty obvious. Sting is here to help the monster abyss. I mean, think of it, Don. After months of the battles, after months of the bloodshed between these two, Abyss has finally earned the respect of Sting. It's out of control. Everything's just broken down. I don't know what it's gonna take. I don't know how long it's gonna take, but we will have a world champion when this night's over. He 
must be pulling his hair out because this three-way match has turned into an all-out brawl. But remember, only Kurt Angle, Christian Cage, and Rhino can walk away with the world's heavyweight title. Jim Cornette knew what he was doing when he made this no disqualification. As you can see, Abyss and Tomko now. This battle is just taking a wow. mind of a go. He's moving everybody out of the way. Oh, right there where the timekeeper is. And look at the blood on the side of Tomko's face. A bloody Tomko goes face first right into the timekeeper. Oh, man, what a shot to the back. Steel chair shot by Abyss on Tomko. And Sting using the baseball bat on AJ Styles up the ramp. You can see Sting taking AJ down. Of the tunnel. Oh, Tomko able to reverse it. A couple chair shots. I mean, he just creeps Abyss. And look at this. They're fighting up into the crowd. Tomko and Abyss up in the stands here at the impact zone, battling by the broadcast table. What was that, a cable that he had wrapped around his neck? They're grabbing anything they can get a hold of to use as a weapon. Everybody, you've got to get out of the way. And there you see Kurt Angle now. Rhino, the only two in the ring. And you see the elbow shot by Tomko. Cameras focus on Abyss and Tomko behind the broadcast table. We'll keep our eye on the action in the ring as Angle has the sleeper on the War Machine Rhino. Look at these big overhead rights by Abyss. Oh, you can just see the blood pouring from Tomko's head as those shots. Just unbelievable, powerful shots by the monster Abyss. And you see him now pushing him down the stairs as Tomko trying to get his bearings and look at Abyss. He just grabs him and takes him right on out. Abyss continues the beating on Tomko as we now return to the action in the ring in this world's heavyweight title match. And Angle has Rhino just where he wants him. He's got him worn down, Don. He's neutralizing him. I mean, you can see into the eyes of the war machine how tired he is. I mean, his arm just, just lifeless as, as he's trying to shock himself back. But again, the arm just falls limp to the mat. And think of this. The Wildcat Chris Harris has done it again. He's taken Christian Cage completely out of this world's title match. It's down to these two, Kurt Angle or the War Machine. Who will be the TNA World Champion? And who gets to partner with Samoa Joe at Victory Road? Rhino does not allow the arm to drop. Going to try and mount a comeback. Incredible crowd here at the Impact Zone. Standing room only, everybody on their feet, and here comes Rhino with those right hands. Oh, War Machine able to get to his feet, and look at this! He's got Angle on his shoulders, and he breaks it right down on his head! TKO out of the fireman's carry, both men down, Angle laid out. The War Machine, Rhino, if he can just drape his arm across the prone body of Angle. What a matchup, what a title match! As you can see, Rhino, he's still, he's still feeling it the is. the sleeper hole. Here's the cover! One, two, two, we have a, no, we don't! Oh, how close can you come? Oh, I thought we had a new world champion, Mike, it was that close, and you can see the frustration on Rhino's face. So evident, as Rhino pounds the mat, frustrated, feeling that he had the three count, but Angle miraculously kicked out at two and nine tenths. Angle able to get to his feet in the corner and using that kick. But look at Rhino, he turns it around, but nice elbow. Nice counter by Kurt Angle. Rhino charges in, Angle catches him with the back elbow, and then unleashes a big right hand to the side of the head. And another one that rocks Rhino in the corner. Oh, the crowd knows they've seen something special tonight. They've seen something tonight on impact they've never seen before. Look at the joy in their faces as they know one of these two is going to victory road as the world champion. And one of these two will join Samoa Joe as his tag wow. team partner, belly to belly, overhead release suplex. One, two, oh my God, you've got to be kidding me. The war machine kicked out of that. Unbelievable! We thought it was a miracle when Angle did it to Rhino, but now the War Machine, he digs down deep. He will not allow himself to be beat. I mean, it's just got to be wearing on you mentally as you see Angle mostly give up, but look at this! Spinebuster! He creeps him, and look at his back just pull up. Look at that! Here's his chance, by Angle in trouble! Rhino One, all his way! Two. Yes! No! Just two again! Oh, Rhino, what has he got to do? He creamed him with that spine buster, but somehow, Kurt Angle on instinct only got that shoulder up in time. Rhino has to erase that from his mind. He's got to focus on the task at hand, but there it is. Angle connects with that ankle lock. Oh, this is it. He's got him right in the middle of the ring. You can see the pain on Rhino's face. 
He's got to try to keep from tapping out. And look at the hand. He's so close. How much more can a man give? I mean, Don, think of what both of these incredible warriors have been through. Well past the 40-minute mark of this world's title match. And there's the ankle lock by Angle. Kurt Angle's got it cinched. Get a look at this. He turns over on his back and uses his feet to kick out. And Kurt Angle's so tired, he couldn't hold on. There he goes. Tossed by Rhino. Powered right down to the mat. Belly to belly by the war machine on Angle. Is he going to go for the gore? He's setting up. And wait a minute. Cowboy Jake Storm pouring the beer. Pouring the beer on. Oh, and he spits it in his face. Oh, my God. Angle's going to take him up. Olympic slam. Here's the cover. No. No. Three no. count. Angle has won it. Angle keeps the title. I can't believe that the Cowboy James Storm would come in here and ruin a match that two Titans were giving it their all, and he just cost Rhino the championship. So many issues, so many questions evolved from this incredible once-in-a-lifetime three-way world title match. But, Don, one thing we know for certain, Kurt Angle, the TNA World Heavyweight Champion, will be the tag team partner of Samoa Joe, the X Division Champion, to face the TNA World Tag Team Champions at Victory Road. Ladies and gentlemen, before we go off the air tonight, we'll have an announcement of the two teams that will face Team 3D next week, right here on Impact. On the next impact, Team 3D battles LAX and the team of AJ Styles and Christopher Daniels to determine the final entrance in the match of champions at Victory Road. 